Hey, men with low testosterone levels will have brittle bones, fatigue, maybe low libido. Millions of men are signing on to take anything from a pill to a cream to get those levels back. A new study out of Utah shows that these drugs may not be as dangerous as initially believed. Mary Nichols explains in our Check Your Health report tonight. What happens if we replace those levels? Does it make men feel better? Does it make them live longer? Or does it put them at risk? The airwaves are saturated with commercials asking men about their testosterone. Last year, 2.3 million prescriptions for testosterones were filled. 20% of men over 60 have a low T level, 30% uh, over 70, and so on and so forth. It tends to go down with age. Uh, it's sort of like a equivalent of menopause in women. This is andropause. T replace therapies like androgel and striant are controversial with concerns it may lead to heart attack or stroke. A three-year study by cardiologist Jeffrey Anderson says it's all about the level of T in a man. The low testosterone level is a risk factor. It does correlate with a higher risk of dying. We don't recommend going to a higher range, but we also think we need more information. He says levels are safest when they're in the normal range, although some men take it to the extreme. If normal is good, maybe higher is better. Maybe they're going to feel even better by going to super high levels. This is not the case. If you go to the normal range, for example, the risk of dying actually uh, was lower, uh, and the risk of a heart attack uh, and stroke were not higher. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. And Dr. Anderson says that for all these therapies to be safe, all the drugs should be taken under the guidance.